Hello, everyone. Wanted to talk a little bit today about how Scripture tells us that Christ is being formed in us. And that simply means that the Christ-likeness and character of Christ is being formed in us as we follow him, as we follow Christ, as we follow in his footsteps, as we follow his human example, which he commands we must do and warns that unless we do, we cannot be his disciple, which few seem to believe, unfortunately. However, not everyone who professes the name of Christ automatically has Christ being formed in them. You see, the process of Christ being formed in us cannot even begin until we have made the first step, a very critical first step. And that first step folks, is repentance. Repentance means turning away from, the forsaking of, and the ceasing from all sin, all unholiness, so that our bodily temples can be washed, so that they can be cleansed by Christ's atoning work, so that the Holy Spirit can reside in a clean vessel, a clean temple, which as the Apostle Paul says, we are that temple. The forsaking and ceasing from all sin, repentance, is just the starting point, folks. It's just step one. However, most professing Christians, most who profess the name of Christ, have never even gotten past step one, but have been deluded or have self-deceived themselves into believing that the Holy Spirit can somehow reside in them even though they remain unholy, even though they remain an unclean temple. And this is how so many are led into error and deception because they are not being led by the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. However, we can still always fall prey to temptation as God never takes away our free will ability to show our love to him through our obedience, which is by following his son's human example, by following Christ's example, walking as he walked. And as we walk with Christ, we take his yoke upon ourselves and learn from him. And this is how Christ is formed in us because he is leading us through the valley of the shadow of death. He is our elder brother who has been there, done that, and he is showing us how to walk as he walked by his human example. However, if we do fall prey to sin, we must then again forsake that sin, which is repent, turn away from, so that our temples can again be cleansed and restored. And yes, Scripture does say that if, if we sin, we have an advocate who is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But notice it says, if we sin, not when we sin, if we sin. But again, however, we do have warnings such as passages like Hebrews 6 and 10, which caution us that it is impossible to be restored if we continue 
in sin, if we willfully continue in sin, that it is no longer possible to be re restored again to repentance. And the scary part of that is, folks, that we don't know when God has cut us off and turned us over to strong delusion. Which is why we are also warned that we have an adversary who seeks to devour the devil and why we are warned that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. All right, that's all, folks. Everyone have a blessed day, and we'll catch you again next time. Okay, take care. God bless.